Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to draw a person sitting on the floor. I'm going to show this from the side and at a certain with a certain uh, particular posture. So to do this, you're going to first draw a curvature of the back. The lower torso is right here. There's a slight like scrunch here in this, so there's the leg. And now we will show this from a angle like that. So if this were a box, let's say we would look at it in that manner. So we have to place everything accordingly. So the shoulder set going slightly uh, that way and then ending here. Although that's not very consequential because the pose itself does not make a whole lot of room for the shoulders to uh, uh, bring out that, that, that full range here. And we will illustrate that in a second because we have this pose where the hand is going in front of the knees and there's the bell shape for the hand right there we could have the other hand coming in round right there then of course we have the that that box shape perspective works in this way that we are bringing the body back down like that there's the chest and of course, characteristically, it will be okay to place the head here for now. And we'll do a few different like, things with this. The other leg, again, the box perspective comes into play. We go like that to the other leg. That starts somewhere there. And we're going like so. Knee coming inward. And there's the other foot right there. In a moment we'll make this a little less confusing because the framework is always essential in these type of poses so we are first going with and putting the hand out because the hand is pretty much in the foreground. Now the set of fingers, we could just show a bit of the knuckles here, show, you know, like just those many fingers because we're looking at it from that perspective where it's bent like that around the knee. So the bend is like that, like going in this, this manner, in this case. So the curvature is like that and we can maybe have the thumb showing there, uh, not very essential, excuse me, but it can work. So let's put the collar own structure right there there's our knee shin and calf area and this part will of course engulf the, the thigh area there so this will be on top. And then depending on how deep the head is hunched in, let's say the head, head is hunched. So it's like sort of a drooping, thoughtful pose. Again, the box perspective, we, we can do that. There's the ear, eyes, nose and mouth. In this case, the shoulder will appear somewhere here and it's like pretty much like behind the behind the knee there or we can stretch out the arm a little bit more and then do a little perspective here forearm and have the fingers of the other hand just showing like that the other leg of course coming in knee, calf and shin, I think I'll place a little higher 
than I needed to but essentially the heel goes there now you can do a few different things with this for instance the other leg I would put it at that angle personally have the heel come all the way here back of the foot right there but we will of course choose what angle we are going with we'll extend the knee a bit a little bit there and put it like that as well so like different things can work for us here depending on what angle we would like to utilize so let's grab a black pen uh, I think a slighter, slightly thicker one will be more instrumental here So there's our there's this one perspective that we put out here. Now we can have the head look upward or it can be drooping as we have it right here. So either way it can work but quick uh, perspective there. Now if we have uh, like let's say this guy had some fatigues on him we would go about it like something like that so a pair of pants some curves maybe a t-shirt and of course all the fabric curls and lines coming in accordingly so please do try it out, a lot of essential body anatomy going on there and it can really give you uh, different uh, 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 posture, angles, placements that can really work in different illustrations and for different purposes. So we put out content every day, so please do subscribe, keep in touch, let us keep sharing ideas. Thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.